Okay, guys. I've been. Baby! Baby! I've been fermenting hot sauce for nine months. And now we're gonna process it. Let's see how the babies are doing. Okay. You playing games? Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. All right. We're gonna make hot sauce. We're gonna process. Yeah. How will we make hot sauce? Well, I've been fermenting hot peppers. When I went to the store, they did. They only had like uh, serranos and Thai chili peppers. And here's here's what we got here. I put some. Um, hey, turn the light on, bud. I I actually put some Thai chili. Uh, oil sauce, a lot of habaneros, some serranos, and Thai chilies. And you can see I got three of them. So let's put the dogs out. Okay. Yay! All right, bye. Okay, we gotta get after. I gotta try to turn the light on as the baby wants attention. Say hi, baby. Do you want attention? Say hi. Okay. I haven't bought the new GoPro that has a, a screen on both sides. I'm kind of thinking about it. So, you know, depending on what your angle is. So here's what we got. Nine months of fermentation. We got one, two, three. I think I started these January 20th and it's November. Um, you can see I got a, a glass weight that keeps uh, the veg below the fermentation. I haven't opened them up. This one looks like it has a little white mold. Um, that's not going to hurt anything. I'll just scrape it off. But uh, I put some fish sauce, uh, a dab of fish sauce, um, and then I just filled it with chilies, onions, garlic. Um, they didn't have a lot of red peppers at the store. So I, you know, I only got the red peppers are only Thai chilies. Um, they must not been at the grocery store when I was buying, but I got some carrots, some onions, uh, and this is this is the only one that looks like it has some mold. I'm gonna scrape that off, and then after that, we're gonna process in the Vitamix, the greatest blender ever made, and then I'm gonna put them in the in these jars. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to pasteurize or not. Um, pasteurize is when you bring it to a boil, kill all the uh, bacteria. But, you know, I kind of like the probiotics. I'll see how it tastes, but uh, we'll get after it. So enjoy the show. Okay, bye. Okay, one down. One down, guys. I'm just going to pour it in as it is. I think it's got a, it's going to be a pretty thick sauce. I'm going to put them in these things. Um, I am probably going to have to burp for uh, at least once every couple days. You know, I will put it in the refrigerator. That will kind of slow the fermentation, but um, I don't think I want to pasteurize. Um, I kind of like the uh, probiotics of the sauce. Let's see if we can clean this one. Let's see, get some hot water, just kind of clean this out. Clean it out, clear it out. Okay. okay, let's fill this one up. Um, let's see how it tastes first, guys. See how this sucker tastes. Okay. I'm just going to taste it and see where we're at, taste-wise. Oops. Okay. Oh god, look at that color. The carrots give it a nice, uh, nice, really nice color. Probiotics, just to give it a shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh! That's hot, guys. Each uh, batch, you can see it's still bubbling. It's still fermenting. Um, it's still active. But nine months, you get that nice umami flavor. I uh, put a little fish sauce. Um, you know, making your own hot sauces, you know, it gets, you get the deep flavors with the uh, fermentation. 
But man, that's going to be a good sauce, guys. Okay. Let's get some of that perfection in there. And this is just one jar, so I'm. I think I I got three big. I actually got four big jars. I have to find the other one, but I'm just gonna see how much one um, half gallon ball glass jug. You know, it looks like it. Looks like I may be may fill up one of these. I think these are like 32 ounces. I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna give much little head space. But God, that's just liquid liquid love right there guys making your own hot sauce you can make it as hot as you want and uh, really go for it okay put this here and then I'm just gonna I didn't pasteurize this because I kind of like the uh, probiotic effect of, uh, of the hot sauce let's see here okay We'll seal this up. Okay, then we're gonna put it in the fridge. And I got one, two, two more to go. So one full jug probably gave me, these are pretty big. These, uh, these are good for kombucha too. They won't explode on you, but, uh, well, they will explode on you if you depend if you don't leave it in the fridge and don't burp it, but. I probably got one of these full. I could probably do another, that's probably another 10 ounces or so. So I could probably fill up one of these and then to there. So I got two of these, but I think I might put some in just a regular uh, ball jar. I got little, little small quart jars that I'll fill up. So, but yeah, that's one half gallon jug and that's how much sauce I got. If I pasteurize this, boiled it, threw in, you know, maybe a cup or half a cup of white vinegar, um, you know, I can, if you boil it down, I probably, one of these would probably fill this up, so, but there we go, hot sauce, and that's probably the best tasting sauce I've had. If you make your own hot sauce, you can make it as hot as you want. To get that imami flavor, I added a splash of fish sauce, a splash of, um, shrimp paste <clears throat> excuse me i think i'm gonna spoon another spoonful of that that's that's just a gorgeous sauce let's see here guys you can see it's still bubbling god this is good let's try it <clears throat> it's got those good umami flavors if you don't pasteurize it <clears throat> it's you get the good probiotics so it's kind of like eating yogurt and kombucha <laughs> stomach good good for your stomach so but if you pasteurize it obviously it'll last longer so i'm gonna i could keep this probably in the fridge for a month um if i'm not using it as much i'll probably pasteurize some of it just bring it to a boil kill all the bacteria but you can still it's still bubbling it's still an active little bugger but my goodness uh, started in January and it's what uh, November 7th so well worth it guys fermented hot sauce get doing it I just use these uh, these air seal lids and you really don't have to do anything just make sure you uh, get the brine you know high up on the jar that reduces mold this one got mold so um, I could see it right there but I think I'm still might be okay. Everything below seems to be fine, but uh, this one's good, and the one I just uh, processed in the blender's good. So um, I got hot sauce at least shoot for a year or so. So make your own hot sauce. Um, it's kind of like a Tabasco, but the heat uh, and the flavors uh, go up a little bit more. So, uh, but that's with about a 10 month uh, ferment. So. Get after it, guys. Make your hot sauce, process it, and enjoy. Talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.
Okay, second batch. Let's get her done. Let's get her done. Okay, we'll do milkshake. Milkshake, bring all the boys to the yard. Damn right, it's better than that. Okay, here's the one that was a little suspect. You can see the, the white mold on top. So I'm gonna scrape that and see uh, how bad it is. Um, the weight kept all the vegetables below, so we'll see how this goes, but. Okay, so I'll open her up. We'll see what it looks like. What you doing, buddy? See how we got it, guys. I open it. Let's see how bad it is. See if this is salvageable. You can see how pretty that other sauce was. I'm gonna save that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna scrape that off. It's white. I'm thinking it's just, uh, I guess they call it petisol mold. But I think everything below, it doesn't smell infected. So we might be okay here, boys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna mix it with this one because this was perfect. So we'll, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is pasteurize this baby just to have a different style. Maybe like a vinegar sauce, add a cup of, or a half a cup of white vinegar, scrape off all the mold and get after it. Okay, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, uh, blended the, the last batch. It just had uh, white, uh, I guess it's petisol mold. But it uh, it was white and it wasn't it wasn't below the surface. Uh, it was just right on the upper. I just kind of scraped it with a spoon. And this is after I blended it. Um, I am going to pasteurize this. So um, let's add a little. So it'll give a different flavor. It'll be kind of a vinegar hot sauce. Uh, but uh, I'm just not going to take a chance, even though um, even though uh, the mold looked looked safe. So and it wasn't really submerged underneath so let's add some white vinegar it'll be kind of a vinegar sauce and then i'm just going to pasteurize it bring it to a boil um it'll reduce a little bit so depending how thick i want it maybe i might add uh, i might add some more vinegar but uh, this will be a pasteurized vinegar sauce if you pasteurize it, it you know it could probably last you a year or so in the fridge so okay guys so i got um two big jugs full of fermented uh, hot sauce that wasn't pasteurized and then i'm gonna do boy this is gonna probably fill up that and then maybe a another 16 ounces or so of a little jug but i'm gonna reduce this so uh get a little thick it's still kind of runny yeah let's taste it anyway well i haven't even boiled it yet so it's still still has good flavor I might add some salt to it too. give it a little bit um, I'm gonna boil it just just to be safe but we'll get after it so let's get her done okay guys hot sauce <laughs> 